I am at the Kalispell Library. I'm gonna hopefully update the firmware on my inReach. I got an update or an email that there's an update available um, and it helps with some of the weather icons on the weather reports and also the success of messages getting sent out, which is obviously um, a pro to getting this update done. So wish me luck in there. Hopefully there's not too long of a line for the computer and it works. Hopefully the update can happen. So we will see. Thank you. Uh, good news and bad news. Oh, I just heard a sound. So I think that means my message went through to my friend Luke. I did a test message for adding a new contact. Um, bad news though is I could not get the firmware updated because it's a public computer and you can't really download stuff like that on a public computer. So sadly I won't have the updated weather icons. Um, but hopefully it doesn't really mess with too much of the success rate of messages getting sent through. Um, so I'm going to just check really quick and see if everything is good with Luke and make sure all that is good and gravy. It worked! We're in business! <laughs> I am currently watching the news here in the hotel room. We just grabbed some breakfast and um, just trying to stay really updated on what's going on for COVID, uh, not just here in Montana, but all around the country and world, but um, in regards to my hike. If anything happens to where there's a quarantining or um, stay at home sort of thing, it will definitely make me consider um, probably just getting off trail for safety precautions and courteous at the towns and communities I'm going through. But so far there's no mask mandating too, so until that happens, um, it looks like it's just going to go on as normal. But I am taking the mask, I will be wearing it when I go into town, even if it's not mandated. It's just the right thing to do. You know, I'm coming from a different community and I'm going into another one and it's, it's just right in my eyes, so. Yeah, Josh is in the shower right now. I'm gonna finish my breakfast, get everything packed, and then it's off to Maria Pass, so. Buddy, what are you doing? Be a gentleman, you're on camera. God. <laughs> fake one sir of the hotel right now <laughs> because I just need a minute I don't know why I'm so emotional again this time I thought it would be easier but I'm just nervous it's still hard to say not goodbye but see you later to people the hardest one was my grandpa that was really hard I didn't show anything until after I left because I didn't want to do that to him. My parents were fine. My brother is a little hard because we have spent a lot of time together recently. And then now I have Josh and Buddy. Knowing I might not see them again for four to five months is scary but again you never know what could happen so <sighs> CVT 2020 let's go red and dirty <laughs> 
We just stopped to use the last bathroom, um, but we're at Maria Pass and I'm going to be starting here pretty soon. And then I'll come back for this business whenever the park reopens. I'm like shaking. <sighs> Mexico or bust. Oh, oh. New trail marker. First water crossing or water source, I guess, if you're desperate enough. I am so sick of blowdowns right now. <laughs> Like if I have a breakdown, it's because of that. It's not because of sun cuts. Totally different kind of trail, I'll tell you that. Oh look, more blow downs. I'm about seven miles in and I'm really struggling. I have an angel over here and a devil over here. One says go back to Maria's Pass. The other says Viva la Mexico! <laughs> I don't know. I read an article last night that was posted by Outside Magazine about this guy named Trail named Denver who just did the ET and it just resonated with me that this this may not be the best thing to be doing right now and Will it give me the hike that I want it to? It's absolutely beautiful out here. But is this the year? You know, I want to be healthy. I want my family to be healthy. And I want people that I come into contact with to be healthy. And I don't want to at all compromise that. And with the resurgence of COVID, it does look kind of ugly right now. I, I just don't, I don't know.
I just talked to Josh and this isn't it. Eight miles in and I'm gonna turn around and go back. It really sucks. I mean, through hikes are selfish in themselves. To do them right now, to go through the communities and depend on them the way we do is a whole nother ballpark and a whole nother level of I matter more than anybody else. It didn't really sit with me until now that I'm like on trail and I'm thinking about it. And that, that article really kind of hit home. This isn't the year, but I, I will be back. I will be back.